Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to add Shopify order details to MS Excel. Suppose you want that whenever a new order is created in your Shopify account, automatically all the details of the same order should be captured in your Excel sheet in the form of a new row, so that you can create a good record of all the orders of Shopify. So how you are going to do that process automatically and effortlessly? For that you will have to integrate your Shopify account with MS Excel. And to do the same we are going to use Public Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now, what we are going to do, we have Shopify in our trigger and MS Excel in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new order will be created in Shopify, automatically the details of the order will be added in your Excel sheet in the form of a new row. And to learn the entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how can we automatically create an Excel sheet for recording all the details of the order which is placed in Shopify store okay so let's start learning this process step by step first of all in order to create the workflow we have to come on our browser and then we have to search for pabli.com slash connect when we do that we will come on the landing page of the software here we can find two options sign in and sign up for free so if you are a new user you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it will take only two minutes now because I'm already an existing user therefore I'm clicking on sign in After coming on all apps section, we can find all the products offered by Pabli. Now to create this workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now and it will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So here we can find all the workflows which we have created on this dashboard. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it. And here a dialog box is appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide this workflow a suitable name. So let's give it a name as add Shopify order details in MS Excel sheet okay so I have given a random name to this workflow you can give any name according to your choice now after giving the name let's click on create and as we do that we can find two windows are open in front of us first is the trigger and the other is action so what are trigger and actions? trigger and actions are the basic principles on which the entire workflow of this automation runs here we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this that means always the action is the response towards our trigger so suppose in this workflow we are going to take shopify in our trigger and ms excel in our action and we want that whenever a new order will be placed in Shopify and the response of that order is captured here in Public Connect automatically all the details of the same order should be recorded in Excel sheet in the form of a new row okay so here we can find that action is the response towards our trigger now let's start creating this workflow first of all we have to select our trigger application which will be Shopify so let's select it and in our trigger event we will select new order because we want that whenever a new order is placed in Shopify then the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect okay so we can find a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to integrate our Shopify account with Pabli Connect so let's copy this webhook URL and then I will tell you exactly what we are supposed to do so let me first take you to my Shopify account and after coming on this account we have to go on the settings section from the left side after coming on settings, we have to search for notifications again from the left side. Let's select it. And after coming on notifications, we have to scroll down until we will find webhooks. Okay. So let us find the webhooks option by scrolling down. And here we can find that yes, webhook is given over here. So several webhooks are already created here for different workflows. Now, in order to create a new webhook, we have to click on this button create webhook. So let's click on it and here we have to enter the details. First of all, we have to select the event. So we will select the event as order creation because here our trigger is new order. Okay. And whenever the new order will be placed, then the response will be captured through webhook in Pabli Connect. Okay. So the format should be JSON and here we have to paste the webhook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. And now the next is webhook API version. So in this, we have to select the latest version which is given over here. So let's select it click on save and our webhook is saved successfully now we will go back on public connect and here it is showing waiting for webhook response that means now we have to do a test submission by placing a test order in shopify store okay so let us go on shopify store and i will make a test purchase by entering the test details in order to capture the response in public connect so here are the products which we can purchase now let's say i am purchasing php codes for beginners so let's open it 
and we will click on buy it now so the checkout page is open for php for beginner course and now we have to enter the details over here in order to make the payment so first of all let's enter the email okay so i'm going to enter dummy email let's say dummy765 at the rate pablitudes.com just a random email next is the billing address so the country is already selected as india let us enter the first name dummy last name let's say user dummy user and for the address let us enter a random address 12 new street new apartment let us select the city state as madhya pradesh and the pin code phone number is optional but let us enter that also okay after entering all the details let's click on continue to payment and here we have to enter the details of the card so because i am making a test purchase i am going to enter dummy card details let us enter a dummy card number name on the card will be dummy user okay and let us enter a random expiry date let's say this and a security code okay so after entering all the details let's click on pay now and here our order is completed now we will go back on public connect and here and here we can find that we have received the response of the order along with all the details amount of the order product name and the details of the customer okay so here it is given first name last name contact number address and email now let's move on to our action steps now we want to add all the details of this order in our excel sheet in the form of a new row so this is the excel sheet which i have prepared which is named as book 6 it contains first name last name email contact amount of the product product name and the date of the order okay so these are the details which we want in this particular excel sheet we will select this excel sheet in pably connect so let us select our action application as microsoft excel and in our action event we will select add row to worksheet click on connect and now we will select add new connection from the given options click on connect with microsoft excel and here pably connect is asking us for the permission to access our microsoft excel account so let's click on accept and our authorization is successful so very easily we can find that our microsoft excel account is connected with pably connect because i was already logged into my microsoft excel account before only okay so you also have to keep in mind always to keep log into your excel account before making up a connection with pably connect because it makes the connection simple and easier okay so let's select the workbook name so here my workbook name is book 6 let's select it So here we have selected the book name. Now the next is drive ID, so which is already selected here. Next is the worksheet. So because we have only created sheet one, therefore it is already selected. Now we have to enter the details of the order here in these fields. Okay. So what we are going to do? We have received all the details here in the Shopify response. We are going to use all these details in order to map the data here in MS Excel. So how we are going to do that? We will select the first of all. It is asking us for the first name, so we will simply select the previous response that is Shopify order, and we can either scroll down to search the name or we can search in the search bar for the first name. and it is given over here so it is mapped okay so why we are using this step that is mapping because we want that whenever a new order response is received in pably connect by shopify automatically these fields should be replaced with the new details of a new customer along with their data but if we will enter all these details manually then they will become static and it will not change with every new response then the workflow will get stuck okay so in order to automate the entire process smoothly we use mapping so therefore mapping is very important step. of every workflow now let's map the last name also in the same manner we will select for the last name in the column c we have to enter the email so we will simply search for the email also done contact number so let us search for phone number okay column e is for amount so we will have to enter the amount of the item which is purchased so this, so this is the amount 100 rupees product name let us search so this is the name of the item which is purchased php course for beginners we have mapped it and the date so here 
we have received the date also so we can either select the same date or we can change the format of the date for that we will have to again add one more action step in between so let us do that by clicking on this plus sign in our action application we have to select date time formatter which is a feature by pably which allows us to format the date in the required format okay so let us select the event as format date only because i only want the date here okay now let's click on connect you can format the date according to your choice here we have to enter the date which we want to format so so we will use shopify response here so we have received the date in this particular format now we have to enter two details from from format or to format so in from format we have to enter the format in which we have received the date from shopify response okay so here we have received the date in this particular format that is year month date hour minute and seconds so let us select it and in the to format we have to select the format in which we want the date so i want date in this particular format okay only the year month and date not the time so i have selected it let's click on save and send test request so i have received the response along with the date in the same format which i have selected okay so we will use this particular date in order to map the date in excel sheet now we will click on connect once again because we have added one more action step in between let's go with existing connection only and we have to refresh the fields so let us refresh the workbook and here the page is refreshed now we will again have to enter the details so let us again map the data first name last name email contact number amount product name so we are going to map the date by using date time formatter response so, so this is the date and after entering all the details successfully we will click on save and send test request so we have received the response that and that means this response is also added in our excel sheet so let's go and check in our excel sheet let us refresh this page once and we can find that all the details of the order are recorded here okay so now what we are going to do we are going to check this workflow once again by placing one more order in shopify so let us go and check so i am going to open the shopify store link in a new tab and here this is my store so let us purchase this herbal mask we will click on buy it now and let us enter all the details of the customer country india first name let's say demo last name let's say customer for the address we will again enter a random address city state pin code and the contact number okay so we have entered all the details now what we are going to do we will simply click on continue to payment let us enter the dummy card details once again the expiry date let's say this and the security code click on pay now and the order is placed now we will go and check on our excel sheet whether we have received the response here or not let us refresh this page and yes we can find that automatically we have received all the details of another order which we have placed which we have placed recently in shopify name email contact of the customer amount of the product name of the product and the date okay so that means our workflow is perfectly successful now we will go back on public connect and summarize what we have done in this workflow so basically we have taken three steps here trigger and two actions in trigger we have taken shopify and in action we have taken date time formatter by pably and microsoft excel and we have connected all of them by using pably connect in such a way that now whenever a new order will be placed in shopify for a particular product automatically all the details of the same order will be recorded in our excel sheet in the form of a new row and if we want to change the date according to our choice then we can easily use date time formatter by pably in order to format the date okay so this is the full workflow and these are the steps which we have to follow in order to create this workflow by integrating all these applications now this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using pably connect now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support@pably.com at if you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with pably connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation